Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin. I'm here with my friend Freddie and his friend Patrick. They're back with me today, my cohorts. Uh, and this is your card of the day. Right, my friends uh, all week long we've been using the angels and ancestors oracle cards by radley valance i mean by kyle gray and uh, the artwork by lily moses now credit where credit's due a lot of times these oracle decks that i use i'm drawn to because of the image that pulls me in and a lot of times the innovators artists don't necessarily get as much credit as the publisher or the um, creator of the deck. Not sure why that is, but still, I like to make sure everybody's included in the credits. Uh, we are using the um, Angel Tarot deck um, by Radley Valentine. Um, and I think the images for this deck uh, were done by Dan, uh, not Dan Craig, oh, look, ha Howard David, Johnson, I want to say. Anyway, the Emperor has been with us all week. It is more of the masculine energy uh, using Archangel Michael for organization, logical structure, discipline, and setting up uh, what I would say leadership for yourself. That would be taking a charge. That would be uh, sorting through, listen, do you need this? Is this going to help you? Uh, those kind of things. And of course, my isms, which oddly enough, seem to play into this whole message. I am receptive to all amazing gifts from source energy. When we're looking at being open and receptive and allowing, we're not putting any kind of condition to it. Not assigning, um, you know, I'm glad I got this or I'm glad I got that. There's no material uh, assignation um, done on receiving gifts they're all gifts of uh, oxygen into your lungs it's a gift the light the body you've got is a gift so we we are uh, receptive of all the amazing gifts that source energy brings and of course i'm open and receptive to allowing all the good and abundance in the universe we can be receptive but we also have to allow it all have to say okay to it i mean i think it's easy to say we're allowing all the nonsense to come because we've been doing that our whole life. Uh, but we have a hard time allowing things to come that we weren't really expecting. Anyway, here we go. Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother in the Earth, Father in the Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Ones, I call upon you now and give thanks for your presence. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be your messenger. I set the intention that whatever is learned from the lessons of this oracle, be for the growth, well-being, inspiration, uh, inspired inspiration of all so be it so shall it be thank you thank you thank you I think I messed that prayer up but it's okay they get it I'm going to keep on going one more time and then we're going to pull from the top that one now I know I saw a couple of cards fly out right at the very beginning and I just decided that was my messy shuffling the she-wolf wolf here's a full moon image here's a indian red headdress this is unleashing the wild that you have within you it would be seen as paying caution to the wind today and in interestingly enough the today's number is nine so when i add up 12 and 8 2023 all those numbers come to 18 it reduces to a nine in angel numerology which is angel numbers and numerology put together it's a time right now to get focused to pursue your passions to uh, take high vibrational action and get on whatever your life purpose is supposed to be this includes creative writing and being artistic, getting things completed, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, 
looking at your magical life and seeing the pathway forward. The she-wolf unleashing the wild within is really a bit like going into the twin soul that you wish were behaving themselves and saying, you need to sit down and be quiet because we're not in an appropriate place for you to be acting out like this. No, the she-wolf is saying, yes, you need, to, you need to howl, you need to scream, you need to carry on like you've never carried on. Um, I believe that inside everybody, whether they're a man or a woman, identify as masculine and feminine, or even if they are um, non-binary, there is a wild feminine side of everyone, that side that wants to play caution to the wind and that side that wants to say, I'm just going to go for it. I am going to, um, um, as, as Gertrude would say, wear odd socks and not worry about what other people say, what other people think. This is not about other, other people. This is letting your wild side up and out and unleashing, more importantly, unleashing your talents, unleashing your desires, unleashing your creativity. Now, this card in the image really also talks about shamanism, which is part of our soul. Um, you know, you can see here that we've got a half wolf and a half woman. It's the alpha female in all of us, not afraid to stand out from the crowd. Just think of somebody who is bold as brass. Gertrude is one. Bold as brass. Doesn't matter um, what's going on. Um, she's wild. She's unfiltered. She's unfettered. And also encourages us all not to be tapped by limiting beliefs. Not to be given um, um, what other people think we should stand behind the line. We should be, get, keep and stay in our lane. No, those folks are being hunted. <laughs> I sound like somebody who's about to release something ratchet. No, no, no. Think about it. When you stand confident and you stand tall and you stand firm in your beliefs, what you believe in, what you stand for, people tend to get out of your way. But when you begin to conform, when you begin to bend, when you begin to blend in with everyone else, people come after you. They point fingers at you. I have a lot more respect for people that may have made a mistake and they might have stood in, in the pathway of, ooh, look what I did, but still stand firm. Yep, I did it. I'm going to admit it. I did it. And here's why. Um, anyway, I digress. This energy for today represents wildness, wilderness, the unknown, and encourages you to be free, completely untethered. Go past your boundaries. Release that animal energy within. Track down what you need to do to, 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 to express your true self. You're being rewilded right now. That means whatever goals, dreams, wishes, words, uh, focusing for 2024, today will be an amazing day to do it. If you have a, a, a secret love, a passionate person, watch out if they're married or attached to somebody else. Be careful. Or someone that you have your eye on. Oh, be bold as brass. Talk to them. Ask them out. Um, this is about reconnecting with your re rebellious heart. Break through the boundaries. Don't be rude. Disrespectful. Let the wolf energy help you track down the direction that you want to go in. Let's go back up to this camera. There we go. Um, Gertrude has... Oh Lord! Now, okay. <laughs> okay, I like this. I love this energy. So, uh, Gertrude's being wild. She's sitting now in front of a um, a table full of uh, what have you got? She's got a sort of a glass dessert. It's fluted. It's sort of you know scalloped on the top, and she's digging a big long spoon into it. It's like a, a parfait, one of those things they call them here. Um, it's chocolate. It's got sprinkles all over the top. And she is having herself such a good time. It's all over her face. Uh, it's not on her clothes yet, but it will be. She doesn't care. She says, this is what you should do. You should be having this fun. If you're a chocolate lover, get into chocolate. Um, Beatrice is enjoying her tea. 
Now, Beatrice, which is the one who says, she's also um, showing me her feet. What I love about Beatrice is her her outfit and her, her clothes are stoic today. It's sort of like she's got a tunic on and nice pressed blouse with it. And she's really sort of, if I had to say, she's just a really high fashion, uh, but pulled together. Yet her wild side, I'm looking, most of it is, what do you got on? It's dark navy blue. Um, so it's a deep navy blue. But then she has this little a flash of pink on her ankles. Like, um, what do you got? Pink socks. What does that look like? Show me, show me, show me. And she's giving me, she's giving me side eye and lifting up the hem of her dress. And here she's got these little pink uh, booties up underneath her shoes. Um, ladies, feet, what energy, what you want to... That, okay. Beatrice is saying there is a time and a place for you to unleash what's wild and what is um, untethered. But also remember, you have to look at how the rules of the game were put together. Are you asking people not to be disrespectful? Yes. Uh, okay. So this would be like the um, the manners. Um, you have to, today, you've got to balance out how you feel and what you want to explode out there and talk about with making sure you're not over, you know, getting in someone's face and being disrespectful. Uh, that's kind of hard to do. People are so sensitive. Um, oh, Gertrude says they're sensitive, but you can get away with anything. If you put a smile on your face, whoop, that's good. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You know, I've done that. I they, There's a word in the gay world. I think they use it in the straight world too. It's called camp. When something's camp, it's just it's just that way. It's a, little, it's a little camp. It's a little twisted. It's too gay for color TV. It's all over the place. But you can get away with it. You can get away with it because you're in this light and it's all about the mood. Uh, that's what this she-wolf is all about, the mood. I'm going off on a tangent, I swear. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, people. Um, I got a special, I think it's Saturday, it might be Sunday, I want to open up the doors and do readings, uh, so I'm going to post something later on about which day we're going to choose, because i got some other friends in the psychic world that are also doing parties and get-togethers and gatherings, so I don't want to tread on their toes, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll be doing some readings. Um, and we're doing in some focus on 2024 for all of us uh, and then a focus on 2024 for individuals who want to know I'm confused I need some some direction so stay tuned all right my friends until tomorrow love and best wishes bye for now <laughs>